Hi, I'm Nicola Coughlin. And I'm Camilla Whitehill. And this is Besties, Besties POV. 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 Um, I'm going to be showing Nicola moments from her life that she's forgotten because she's old. And then we're going to talk about them. Mm -hmm. Do you remember this? I do remember it. What is it? This is Dairy Girl. <laughs> this looks like a wig. It's actually not a wig. That is my hair. Did but you that... walk around in public with that fringe? Yeah, I, I did not want... I didn't like it. No. I look like, um... I you look like a, like a girl who lost her goat on the mountain. You do. And also, because you can't see your eyebrows at all. Yeah. It's just your big old blue eyes screaming out. I really didn't like having that fringe. I remember when they told me they were going to cut in, and I was like, I don't want this. But, but yeah. this was like your first job, so you didn't know you could say, no, let it be this a wig. This was the second series, but I... Oh but they just, they went really hard on the fringe. I had quite a bitty... Why are you holding a bobby? I'm not. Oh, foreshadowing. Oh, no, it's, it's a, a tea kettle. It's a tea cozy. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, I hated having to eat at that table because like there was one uh, episode where there was a fry. Like a cold fry. Oh, Vogue. I just stayed with the toast, but it was disgusting. So that's like my memory of... This is all a set. It looks real, but it was a set. Yeah, they film TV shows on sets. What? Yes. No one talks about this yes. enough. Yes. That's the, that's the real know. tea. Yeah. <laughs> the one thing I remember is like, Nicola is such a nerd and like works really hard, which is so cringe. Um, and when she was auditioning, she had this little book she made and it said Claire on the mm. front and she was toting it around and I was like it's so sad if she doesn't get this job she's just gonna have this tragic scrap I know um but I also thought she probably would get it uh <laughs> otherwise I don't know I what don't was know. gonna happen to us but um uh, yeah I remember she just worked her ass off to get the part it was months it was six months of auditions in and out it was really stressful yeah there's actually if you watch Dairy Girls series one episode six is a tribute to Camilla in it yeah so there's it's when they're like writing the article the school newspaper and it's like shoes of the world when Camilla Camilla like can't hide her expression, so Camilla's unimpressed faces. <laughs> so I just did, like that whole scene is just me doing an impression of Camilla. Which I found delightful. And I, 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 didn't, and I didn't tell you until <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. the episode was and I was like, this is me being you. And I was like, so nice to see myself. No, you loved it. <laughs> I did, I did love it. Yeah, I did love it. <gasps> what you done? Oh my God. Oh my God, with Claudia, who Camilla has also written on a show that Claudia was in. Yes, yeah, I did, she's the best. Look at you and your yellow. You met Claudia, you met Claudia before me. I did. Yeah. I did. She's, she's fabulous. great and she's so funny. Yes. She's so, so, so funny. Um, Bridgerton, you've come to set. I did. I love going to set. It's so it's big. very cool. And there's so many people that work there. It's, yeah. And so many extras. Oh my God, like 200. Budget. We've had a lot of extras since the first series and they're really amazing. It's, it's fancy, Bridgerton. It's very, very fancy. I loved going in all the rooms. Yeah. It was really I cool. remember when I was auditioning for Bridgerton, I was like, it's a Shonda Rhimes show and you were like, you better get I it. I am a I huge like, Shonda Rhimes fan, so I was like, <laughs> I didn't think I was going to get it. I don't, I was, I, 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 yeah, because you, I didn't because you didn't. You were like, I don't think I'm going to get this show. And I was like, oh, really? And you were like, no, I've not heard a thing. I think I did like a fine, normal audition. But you were, didn't you just do one audition? Yeah, it was yeah. really weird. One audition and then the offer. And I was like, that's not how this works. Yeah. Um, that was crazy. It was crazy. It was absolutely crazy. And then when I got to set, I was like, oh, this is a big show. Yeah, but yeah. you still don't even know, like, even though it's like a huge budget show, you still don't know if people are going to watch it till it comes out. No, of course Like, you that could have just been a load of money down the drain. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what's crazy about television. They just let you make the things and people might hate it. Yeah. And then when it came out, we were all in lockdown. And yeah. then when we came out of lockdown, you were really famous. And we were like, uh-oh. 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 <laughs> I was like, I know what this is. Like, Jerry goes on TV and sometimes people recognise me. And then Bridgerton. I realised that 82 million people is more people than 2 million people. It is, it is more. It it's is more. 80 million more, some indeed, say. Indeed, indeed. Some say. That was, that was, um, it was December 2020 when season one came out. So we were all inside, so everyone watched it. Yeah. And it was perfect lockdown TV because it was like escapist and Like fun. I just remember like messaging and being like, like Kelly Rowland's watching it. It was like, like, the celebrities started like posting it and I was like, what the yeah, hell Yeah, Kim Kardashian going was on? watching it. People I was like, were like following you on Instagram and we were like, what? I know, it was very weird. I think when you've known someone a really long time, like that kind yeah, of Yeah, we're old, strange. so we were just like, what's going on? Yeah. <laughs> I guess people like the show a lot, okay? Yeah, like, it's crazy. Ah! <laughs> this was the biggest moment of yeah. my life. Yeah. This, my life. Your life. Yeah, oh, it was really... Life. I mean, it was still... I love that I use this as a reaction to things all the time. I got so overly emotional. That's you, though. Yeah, true. But it you're too like, much, You have so much empathy for people, so if they're doing... You're like, they're sad, and I'm sad now. Yeah, so oh, yeah. I fully cried. I they had to, my, ma my lashes fell off because I cried. Chic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they had to pull me off the set. This was the most exciting day of my life. It was very good. I mean, we good. were beside us. When we found out you were doing it, we were like... 
Because we were like, we are long term. As in, we're long term, long -term drag race fans. Not just like, we're not one of these Johnny Come Lately. No. We were going to see Adore Delano in, at, West, in West Five. Five in like the, you know, mid 2010s. We were there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Baby. There from the start. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And Rue's like really hard to impress. So the queens walk the runway tw twice, once with music and once without. So the first time was without. So, or no, with. So I was like writing down like three jokes for each queen. Mm. And then I was like making loads of like old school musical theatre records. But you were made, stuff. You, this was you. Right. You were made for that moment. And then RuPaul turned to me and went you are so smart and so funny and I was like <laughs> which is hey Barbie hey Barbie someone said that to me in New York I was walking were you like and then, hi Barbie and hi I was like hi Barbie what fun what fun what fun it was very exciting oh my god I mean it was like we were together the day I did my audition tape yeah we were in Hawaii I got they... fired from doing the reading the lines I don't like reading I don't like asking people for help and I don't like having. No, you don't. I don't. And I don't like um, I was thinking bad. someone would be bored. Oh yeah. So like but I, I wasn't though. But yeah, I get no, it. No, but like you just want to do. Also, you're in Hawaii, so you probably want to go sit in the sun. Um, but yeah, so I auditioned, and then I heard back, and they were like, "Greta really likes your tape." I was like, "Not Greta, I love her." Yeah, yeah I love her so much. Um, and then we were filming. We were starting to film Bridgerton season three, so they were like, "We don't think like." You can't film. Yeah, you're busy, lady. Time, and then they're like, well, you can do like a little tiny bit. And I was like, a little tiny bit? I'll do anything. I can't believe I made the edit, to be honest. I was like, so. Yeah, because loads of people didn't. Yeah, I know. I know. And I'd be livid. Who did I spend most time with on set? I spent a time with um, like Hari and Alexandra and Emma. Um, and Margot, Margot was in the scene with me, which was like, how, having to act to Margot Robbie's face, you're like, oh my God. <gasps> Big um, that's the theme song. That's it. Beautiful. Me, me mood. <laughs> um, Love Actually Party. Hello. Princess Little, Lydia West. Princess Little. Um, this costume, our costume department made, obviously you can't buy that. And um, killed it, by the way. Killed it. Uh, but that, I mean, I forget how insane that I do look in the show. Ah, and then I see it. Like, I'm oh, glad yes. that you didn't notice at the time because it meant that you didn't get distracted by that in character. Do you know what I mean? Well, sometimes I go to the bath and be like, "What?" Yeah, but then I'm like, "Do we have to come back?" <laughs> that's how I had like like Vaseline all over my face to look sweaty. Sweaty, yeah. Because that's how you never sweat. You're not. You're, but you're not like a greasy man like me. I'm a little bit greasy. Yeah, but not like me. But the, and you don't sweat visibly much. I sometimes get the old Sula. Sure. So area. Yeah, but yeah, we had to enhance sweat. But yeah, but on screen it has to be like Vaseline so that mm. it looks. Um, and then it makes it like so rude when I'm trying to flirt with like Tom Reese Harry's. So funny though. In that, yeah. You're so funny in this episode. You're funny thank throughout. You. Oh my god, thank you. Besties, Besties to colleagues. colleagues. Well, we first we're met. We're businessmen. We're business ladies together. <laughs> we met at drama school mm -hmm. and we used to love doing improv together. Yeah. And I feel like I still have a quote written down somewhere. Like we were learning how to do like, because ba ba good improv is yes and. But then we found it really funny to, to like, do the no, to do the no, and <laughs> to like make it so yeah. bad. We were making ourselves laugh so much, but yeah, we were like, we're hilarious, me. yeah. And then we wrote a podcast together called Whistle Through the Shamrock. It was almost like we were always going to do stuff. Yeah, together. I felt like it was uh, like destined to happen. Sometimes at some the, point, the, but... bl the line, I think, because of this job, the line between like work and friendship often blurs. Because you just want to work with your friends, especially yeah. with their sound. You want to yeah. be like, my friend is here. Yeah, and they're really good. Well. Well, I think you are. I was making a horrible oh, joke about you. No! No! Mm. Mm. She's good. Thank you for watching Bestie's POV. Thank you for watching us. Mm. Mwah! <laughs> <laughs>